Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. Since I'm on such a hot streak with the recordings, I thought I would just pick it up right after. Uh, let's get two points into int and no, one point into int, two into HP. I'd like to get to the 50 HP uh, as we sort of move along, but yeah, a bit more int never hurts. I think this, the scaling on this weapon doesn't start to drop until quite a bit further. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is continuing in Ferm Zula. We're getting towards the... I guess you can say the second half of this area. Hold on. Did I miss where the hell you're supposed to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is not it. Where is the exit here? I totally don't remember this area. Where the hell you need to go afterwards. We killed the god skins. Oh, this way. My bad. Why is there a side of grace there? Alright, brain fart moment immediately to start of the episode. But yeah, really that... Uh, this god skin fight really did go... Very smoothly. Um, and I'm just hoping that the... I forgot to switch my setup back. Alright, have your freak out. I'm just hoping that the, the rest of the bosses are gonna continue and follow a similar streak. Malekith is gonna be an interesting one because he's a, a jumpy boy. God free, I'm not too worried about because I think that's a, a fairly fair boss. And I did, I think, learn his pattern pretty well on playthrough one. Gideon Offner actually might be an interesting one because I feel like they gave him... I just have a sneaking suspicion that they gave him insane magic resist. Uh, and he's going to be taking, like, nothing from my spells. And I'm going to be, like, raging. Ouch. Fucking... I hated these enemies in Sekiro as well. These shuriken-throwing idiots. I think it's the same animation, too. Yeah, I need to get my setup back because that carry and slicer is where it's at currently when I'm not in a boss fight. It's just weird how much less I remember this part of Fermazula, this like second half. I think the god skins were such like um a rage moment for me that I actually like blocked out whatever happened afterwards in my mind. Of course. Oh, come on, lock on, just work with me, please. Oh, fuck. Oh. <sighs> there was a wall there. Okay, I'm back here. Uh, I died like a bitch uh, coming back here, so I don't have my runes to pick up. So I think I'm going to use the opportunity to just, you know, progress. I'm not sure if there's anything worth it for me in that little side area. There might very well be. It's just... I don't know. I probably should go back there. Am I gonna? I don't think so. Interesting that there's a stone stone sword key door here. Uh, you know what? I have a couple to spare. Let's check out the big secret here. Ooh, okay. 
slightly more interesting than I was expecting. I was just thinking treasure, but this is a straight up elevator. Dragon Temple Lift. Where does this lead? Okay, well, I totally wasn't expecting this. Lord's Rune. And yeah, have I switched back my setup yet? No. Because I'm an idiot. Jesus. We need a reset. I, again, okay. That might be the most interesting sort of soul st um, stone sword key discovery I've made so far because most of them just tend to be like, you know, whatever. But it's an actual, actual different area. Damn. All right, game GG's. Oh, this is the one that like raises them. Let's see what's going on. Fuck, that's a lot of HP. Okay, go and heal. Quickly. Man. Please tell me you can... What the fuck? Yeah, do that please. Is it dead? Yeah, it is. I just get like screwed over in this area because <laughs> it might just be really difficult. Where am I? I'm sure this is gonna like loop back to one of the main zones, nascent butterfly. I'm spamming. I'm spamming a bit. What? If it works, it works, doesn't it? That was a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I just jumped out of this the tree, but still uh, having a new area, an actual new. Oh fuck! There is a lot of them. Might just be more worth it to run. Oh, I I I see what you I see what you can get here. I see it now. It's actually pretty good. All right, let's try the the classicest of classic tactics. And that's the sprint button. Hey there. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah, bitches, faster than you. Okay, I took a look. This is not where the Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone is. I do know now where the Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone is. So I'm gonna leave this dragon in peace because I'm not really looking forward to fighting one. Uh, and instead, we'll just take a look around this place a little bit more. Because... Again, I have legit no idea where this is leading us. It's a very steep incline. Some Assassin's Creed shit. 
Again, I'm sure this is going to loop around uh, very cleverly. The legacy dungeons are, you know, well, excellent in this game. So, Ancient Dragon's Apostle Cookbook. Or maybe it's not going to... Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Don't judge too soon. Uh, oh. Did that all just loop back to... It did. Oh, I totally see where we are now. Yeah, okay, I'm dead too. <laughs> I'm dead too. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I totally get where we were. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't think I still have enough things to... Uh, upgrade my flasks, do I? We'll find out in just a bit. No, we don't. It's a bit of a shame. I, I've i never really looked up where all the flask items are, and this is not where we want to be. No, 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 actually, it's fine. Yeah, I've never really looked up where all the flask pieces are. That's definitely one of the things that, you know, as Souls games got insanely popular, was lost. The discovery aspect. Now, like, this game came out and within, like, six, seven hours, there were tutorials up on YouTube on how to get all the flasks and all that. But, you know, that's the... The nature of a popular game. I mean, I remember when... I think it was one of the Binding of Isaac DLCs where... The DLC pack came out and within like... A few hours people data mined all the secrets. I think, I think that was the... Expansion pack where the big secret was the Lost. You know, the, the secret character. And people data mined that shit in like... A day and a half, not even that. And I think even Ed McMillan sort of tweeted about it that it's a bit of a shame, you know. When you try to put an interesting secret into a game and people just immediately crack it and post it online. When it's supposed to be like a community discovery. It's just the nature of when a game gets very popular. Where the hell do we go from here? Um, let's just think about this. Oh, yeah, up there. Fuck, these enemies are annoying. Is this it? I don't remember making this jump. Are you fucking kidding me? That is some big treasure. I'm... Keep getting blasted. I get blasted so easily. And it's like... Weird thing that I have this rune which is supposed to... Like, its main purpose is to increase HP, and I know it's not gonna matter. It's not even worth getting it. Because I'm gonna get melted anyways. I totally just realized where we need to go. I don't give a shit about that treasure. Yeah, it's down here. Is that thing gonna be blasting me while I try to navigate? Maybe. I'm, like, singularly focused on the ancient dragon smithing stone. Somber, I should say. Gotta make that distinction. It's interesting that 
comet shard is slower than comet. Beastman's curved sword. Hmm. Somebody once I was watching a video of an, on Elden Ring, and somebody like yeah, he he covered how many weapons there are in this game, and holy shit, is it a lot? Okay. We're gonna try something, people. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I don't have the setup either. I'm stupid. I wouldn't. It wouldn't have mattered if I wanted. Fuck. Jesus. This is a quite a run back too. I remember why I I I ran past this guy. Yeah, it's all the way up here. Oh yeah, there's this upper floor here as well, and I think there might actually be a side of grace here, if I remember correctly. Not a hundred percent sure, but I seem to remember something. Fuck. I could be fully wrong. Oh no, that just leads back there. I guess I'm wrong. No America statue either. Anyways, that's besides the point. What we need to do is... is probably run past... The, definitely run past the Crucible Knight. Uh, and... Yeah, we'll be... Will be a okay. Because there is a side of grace right here. And again, I can I'm a hundred percent guarantee I'd be able to kill him with the Terra Magica Comet Azure setup. Just not sure I wanna switch to it. So this place is significant because we are getting close. We're getting close to the place where it is. Just the damage. It's, oh, it is, everything kills you in th two, three hits. Neo Syndrome. Neo is the game that really did this, that y you could never feel powerful or you could never feel well prepared because everything was just like overtuned. This is a shortcut from somewhere that I didn't actually discover, I think. Yeah, so this is the dragon that people talk about, well, the guide talked about. So there's a stationary dragon that just keeps casting the red lightning and the somber is somewhere around him. Oh. Oh my fucking god, the damage is so insane. <sighs> it's, at least it's not difficult to avoid this. The Dragon. That's seriously... got stuck or something. God, these are annoying encounters. Yeah, I'm gonna... Don't, no, don't summon. I'm gonna safety heal. Twice, because I don't trust... I don't trust this game. And there's supposed to be a gazebo here. A gazebo. Fuck, I didn't know you could do that. I did not know you could do that. 
I thought you just did the lightning. This is the gazebo. Right? This has to be it. That has to be it. Please tell me that's it. It's not it. Where the hell is a gazebo here? Across from the stationary dragon that casts the lightning. Cause I, oh, there it is. Where did I, I didn't know this thing left. Strange. There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I needed. Let me just hit up the next side of Grace and get these things off of my back. I legit don't know where that dragon goes. I mean... I don't care that much, but... Still. <laughs> Combat. Oh, where the fuck do you go? I'm just trying to hit up the next side of Grace, just let me. Please tell me you're bad at balancing and you're gonna fall off. Oh, fuck. Oh, you know what, screw this. <laughs> I, I, know, I know where this leads. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but still, at least I don't have to, but I do have to go through the the hawks again. <sighs> this area is something. Uh, let me just go back to the round table hold and upgrade my staff. Here we go. Strength and armament. Hell yeah, it's the carry and regal scepter. That's what I want. You can't convince this guy to leave if well, that's what you're thinking. I think I got that. It's called the Carrion Regal Scepter. Oh yeah, she makes it too. I don't I don't know what to do with this quest line. Uh, I haven't been able to advance advance her thing past this point. So, you know, I don't know. I have a lot to cut out from this episode, and I have a lot of running back to do as well. So, I have even more to cut out. No worries. Let me just get back to where I was. Okay, I think this is a fair place to start off from. Um, dragon, I'm gonna ignore, because of course I am. What I didn't do is, like, aggro have the bird flock on me. So I should be a little bit better suited to actually fight the enemies in this area and not have to just, like, chaotically try and run past everything. At least that's the hope, you know. I mean... I mean, I mean what the fuck... What the fuck, man? Seriously, what the fuck? Alright. I'm not that far from where I, like, made it. Like, the farthest I've made it, so... Yeah, we can just go back. No stupid deaths. No fall-offs. Nothing. Just me killing this guy. Killing whatever else is in that building and then moving to the next side of grace. That's all I'm looking for. Exactly like that. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's one of these things. It's like the advanced one. 
Screw that. The only reason I'm not fighting it is... Because I... No... Ugh, it queued it up. It queued it up. Because actions are very easy to queue up in this game. It queued up my fucking spells. Ah, I'm so... Why, why, why is this area like this? I don't remember this be area being this much of a problem. I, f I, I feel like I ran through pretty easily. And the fucking... You, you can't skip these guys, can you? Because they're just able to track you down so well. These birds. But I, I don't know. Let me try. Yeah, see, this is the problem. See? <laughs> Insane. Okay, I'm back. Uh, not off to a good start, I can just say that. Oh fuck, I'm out of stamina, aren't I? Oh, man, these combos! Please just die, come on. Thank you for a thousand souls. Worth it. Because you're worth it. There we go. Can I finally move on in peace? I think I can. I hope I can. And that enemy was really difficult. That's like the boss version, the boss beastman of Firm as well. He had that moveset, except just, of course, way stronger. All right, did I finally make it to the end? I did. This was an absolute slog. Uh, I had, I actually probably enjoyed, outside of God's Can Do, I probably enjoyed my first run through here a little bit more. Sure, we had the good secret, which was fun, but I don't know, maybe it's just because of my low HP that this area ended up being this frustrating. Uh, yeah, we know where we are, we know what to do, it's, Draconic's Tree Sentinel and then Malekith, who I think will be interesting for sure. Okay, if you did enjoy this episode of Elden Ring, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I'll catch all of you guys next time. Peace out and goodbye.